An article which I believe appeared in a newspaper asked why, since you are, or it would seem that you are, in effect, the mayor of Chicago, you've not simply been appointed to that position. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, you know, it's touching. Like a lot of things in life, we laugh because it's funny and we laugh because it's true. Some people say, reformers here say, put that man in jail. What does he think he is doing? Uh, what I hope I'm doing, and here's where your English paper's got a point, is I'm responding to the will of the people. <laughs> <laughs> people are going to drink. You know that, I know that. We all know that. And all I do is act on that. And all this talk of bootlegging. What is bootlegging? On the boat, it's bootlegging. On Lakeshore Drive, it's hospitality. <laughs> I'm a businessman. And what of your reputation that you control your business through violence? That those that don't purchase your products are dealt with violently? Is that right? I grew up in a tough neighborhood. And we used to say you can get further with a kind word and a gun than you can with just a kind word. <laughs> and in that neighborhood, it might have been true. And sometimes the reputation follows you. There is violence in Chicago, of course, but not by me and not by anybody I employ. And I'll tell you why, because it's not good business. alone down here. We're getting along fine. We've got everything we need. Green beer you're peddling just ain't any good. But it's supposed to be good. It's supposed to be bought. I'm not buying any. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Pops. We won't come back. And how's everyone at your house today? They're fine. Your mama well? She has a little cold. Oh, she does, huh? I'm sorry to hear that. But she'll be all right. There you go. Thank you. Oh, that's all right, sweetie. You be careful crossing the street. Mr. You tell your mama Mr. that... Thank you.